So you think you know a lot about baseball, right? Some people know all the stats. They can tell you who played on what team and which game and how many runs they scored and all of that. Um, I don't know any of that. Don't really care. But I do know something that I bet you don't know. I know exactly how baseball started. I mean the precise moment in history and who invented baseball. Bet you don't know that. And I'm going to tell you about it. Uh, on this very special episode of the Steve Thomas Show, starting right now. So here's what happens. Uh, you know, you know the uh, Mayflower, right? You know, and all the people that came over the Pilgrims, right? Came over to Plymouth, Massachusetts on the Mayflower. Well, some children were on that boat, okay? And there were two kids in particular. Well, not on that boat, but like on the third boat that came over. Not the Mayflower, but the third boat that came over. There were children on that boat, and after a long winter, they finally got to go outside and play. And what did they have? They had one toy. That was it. It was a ball. They had a ball about yay big around. It was a, a wooden ball um, covered with leather, something like that. Um, some kind of rawhide type leather stuff. And uh, it wasn't a baseball because baseball wasn't invented yet. It was just a ball. These kids were Mort and Sal. Mort and Sal were 10 years old. And uh, there were other kids too, and they made friends with the Indian kids and had a lot of fun with them, learned how to shoot bows and arrows. But other than that, they climbed trees and they had one toy, a ball. So they'd throw the ball. Well, one day they were out in the field. Mort in particular was good at throwing this ball. He could clock a squirrel in the head at 30 yards, no kidding. So anyway, one day they're in the field playing around with the ball and Sal picks up a stick, about yay big, you know, um, a stick they had been playing with but for doing other things, you know. And Sal got this idea, ta -ding. Why don't you take the ball and throw it at me, and I'll see if I can hit it with this stick. Well, what are you, crazy? I mean, that sounds a little dangerous. Well, look, I'm not a squirrel, okay? Don't throw it directly at me. You're gonna throw it in right about here, and I'll swing the stick and see if I can hit the stick with the ball. What do you say? So Mort says, what the heck, and he takes the ball and does like this, throws it really hard, Sal swings at it and misses it. The ball goes way behind him, so he has to go run and chase it. All right, but he wasn't done yet. They do that about 50 times, and finally Sal says, look, you know, we need a kid to stand behind me, you know, crunk, crunk down right here to catch the ball when I miss it, because frankly, I'm getting tired of chasing after the ball. So we need to find a kid to catch the ball behind me. They enlisted the services of a little Indian kid known, known as um, Big Bear, because uh, he was short, don't ask. So Big Bear, uh, he, he agreed, okay, yeah, I can catch the ball. So he uh, got down behind you, uh, Sal, you know, Mort throws the ball, Sal swings at it, misses, bang, Big Bear catches it. Cool, cool, cool. Well, after a while, uh, they, they were getting a little tired of this, because uh, quite frankly, Sal wasn't hitting the ball. So they figured, well, you know, you want to climb that tree? Now give me another shot. Mort, oh, the ball. Sal, boom, pop, hits the ball, and it goes flying into the field. It was amazing. They were all jumping up and down and going, yay, finally did it. Sal hit the ball. After the excitement of that wore off, uh, Big Bear said, you know, this is great. I think you guys are on to something with this, but we need something more. How about, how about if Sal, when you hit the ball, when you actually hit the ball, you run. That would be great. Everybody loves running. So hit the ball and you run. They all jumped up and down. That's a great idea. We'll do it. We'll do it. So believe it or not, the next time Sal hit the ball, he dropped his big giant stick and went off running. He was so excited he ran all the way home. So once Sal got home, um, he was pretty tired. So he sat down at the dining room table and thought to himself, well, I guess I ran too far. And there were four plates on the dining room table and he got an idea. So he picked up the plates and went back to the field where his friends, Mort and Big Bear, were waiting for him. So when he got back, uh, the guys said, hey man, where'd you go? And he goes, well, I, I actually ran home, but I got an idea. Uh, instead of running all the way home, we need a designated spot for me to run to. See these plates? And he dropped one down. 
this is where I'll stand when I swing at the ball. Then he made a right, walked over a few yards, whatever it was, dropped the other plate down, said, then I'll run here, instead of like running all the way home. Went to his left, dropped another plate down, then I'll run here, went to his left again, dropped another plate down, then I'll run here, then I'll run back to where I started. You mean the plate that you got from home? Yeah, we'll call it home plate. That's great, and that'll be second plate, and third plate, and fourth plate. No, no, that's too many plates. This will be home plate. We'll just call that a base. How that? Okay, there's a base. It'll be first base, second base, third base, home plate. And it'll be in the shape of a diamond. That way, I won't run all the way home, and we can continue playing the game. Well, since they were naming things, uh, they decided the big stick, we just need a name for that. What are we going to call it besides a big stick? You know, ball's fine, but a big stick? So, hey, you remember the time when we were outside and it was getting late and starting to get dark and all those bats came swooping down and I took the big stick and I was swinging them at it, I was swinging at the bats with the stick? Yeah, we would call it a bat stick. No, 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 that sounds a little crazy. Uh, how about just a bat? We'll just call it a bat. Well, that really sounds crazy. It's okay, trust me. So this thing, the stick, is now we'll call it the bat. You. Uh, we're throwing the ball, so we need a name for you. Let's see, we got the plates. How about holding? No, 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 no. You'll be the pitcher. How about you'll be the pitcher? You'll pitch the ball. You'll pitch the ball to me at home plate. I'll be, I'll be the batter because I got the bat, and we'll just call him the catcher. Now, speaking of catchers, uh, the, the big bear said, "Look, I, uh, my hands get really sore. I need a glove or something, you know, from catching this ball. You know, we'll do you one better." We'll get you a mitt, and we'll make it out of leather and pad it up so it won't hurt your hand, and we'll call it a catcher's mitt. And then uh, Sal said, well, you know, uh, come to think of it, I think you guys that are catching the balls, all of you need uh, mitts, but we'll call them gloves. Only the catcher will have a mitt, you guys will have gloves. Well, what are we going to call this sport? we got to call this something, right? Hmm, what could it be? How about bat ball? Eh, I don't know, that, 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 that's not a bad idea. How about, since you have the plates, we'll call it plate ball. Eh, I don't like that too much. Okay, well how about pitcher ball? Now you're the pitcher, you throw the ball, I'm the batter, I hit the ball, and then I run to first base. You run to base? Yeah, I run to the first base, and then second base, then third base, then I run home. So we'll call it home ball. No, 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 look, look let, let's just name it after the bases. We'll just call it base. And that, my friends, is the story of how baseball got started. No kidding. And you won't find this story anywhere else except right here on the Steve Thomas Show. So remember, until next time, folks, grab the rabbit by the throat and chase it. This is Steve Thomas saying goodbye and happy baseball. Not hang around this time. Take what's yours, I'll take what's mine. Save the rest, someone else.